Hello there, folks. My name is Walt, and welcome back to Richard and Alice. Let's see. Eh, the cold sounds good to talk about. Have you got enough blankets and stuff in there until they fix the temperatures? If they fix the temperature. Well, if they don't, then the answer is definitely no. Exactly. So what do we do if that's the case? They will fix it. Don't you watch the infomercials? This is the safest place on Earth. They're not going to last freeze to death. But what if? We can't afford to think like that. Maybe you should submit another support ticket. Maybe I should. Hmm. Getting out? What will we do eventually... When we do eventually get out of here, do you think the snow will have melted? I don't know. I'd like to think so. I don't know how long your sentence is. Mine's... Mine's long enough. If the snow isn't stopped by the time I get out, there won't be a world to go back to. Well, that's a sobering thought. Still, at least we both got people on the outside waiting for us, right? Can we not talk about this? Every time I think about being stuck here underground for years, I just feel like I'm tumbling down a black hole. Sure, I know what you mean. There isn't a day goes by that I'm not filled with dread over the prospect of not seeing my daughter again. <laughs> Look at us. A right sorry pair. We're so different, really, and yet... So similar, I know. It's weird we ended up down here together, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, nothing really, just thinking. Hobbies? Man, it sure is boring when you're cold. I was wondering, actually, about you. Yep. Before all this, what did you do for fun? Like, when you weren't off fighting wars and things. Well... Wait, wait, no, let me guess. You were into hiking, right? Mountain biking too, maybe? Camping the great outdoors? I bet you can tie every kind of knot and light a fire using sticks. I bet you were in the scouts as a kid. You spent your weekends in the mountains, maybe. Fishing, too. I can just picture you with one of those hats on. Did you ever wrestle a bear, Richard? Come on. I was a model railway. <clears throat> I was a model railway enthusiast. No, you weren't. Is that so hard to believe? Yes. Well, believe it. Model railway enthusiast. Well, that's cool, I guess. So, like, did you have a big setup? Did you convert your shed into a huge track like some of the guys do? Well, I um, yeah. Okay, okay. You were right. Hiking, fishing, mountain biking. I've never wrestled a bear though. Just a couple of very angry raccoons. Oh man, I liked you better when you were into trains. Well, sorry, I had a train to have a kid if that counts. No. Okay, let's try to fix this. Okay, so... Oh, uh, broken pole? It's no use. It's not long enough to reach the other... Well, I, there has to be some... Mostly empty plate. I've had enough. Let's see. I don't need anything. It doesn't look like... I guess uh, I'll, I will have to try that... Uh, Let's have a look. Uh, submit a ticket. Let's hang on. Oh boy. In the event of an emergency, please activate your in-cell emergency device as detailed in section 64C of the Typhoon Project Handbook. A guard shall attend you shortly. Please note, abuse of the emergency device will result in loss of pris prisoner privileges. Wait, what? In-cell emergency device? Typhoon Project Handbook? First I've heard of any of this. I thought that's what this book was. That'll do. Wait, what's the book then? So... I get the feeling we've just kind of... Using this for clean might be a bit tricky. There's a hole in it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, I have no... Oh, I forgot that that was actually the menu. I feel dumb. Alright, there's no point in even trying to get the bars open, especially with my bare hands. It's no use, it's not long enough. There, there's nothing to really... Damn. Yes? Alice, when they brought you in here, did they mention anything about an incel emergency device? <laughs> no, well, not to my knowledge. I was pretty out of it, mind. It's kind of important. Try to remember. Wait, why do I have to remember? Why can't you remember? Well, they never mentioned it to me. Honestly, I'm sure they never told me about it. Well, it seems like a bit of an oversight, don't you think? Well, try to remember back. Do they actually tell you anything about this place? Well, yeah, I mean, well, there's the infomercial. Ah, yes. The va the vacuous thing. What do you do if something goes wrong? What do you do if there's a fire? Well, I imagine there are fire alarms, plus you could submit a support ticket. In a fire, Richard? Really? Okay. So what if the computer broke down? What then? Tell a guard. And what if there are no guards? There are always guards. Apart from now. Apart from now. 
Do you ever get the feeling they're making this up as they go along? Well, the infomercial does say this is a test. Fuck the infomercial! It's insidious PR spiel! An odious, empty reassurance that everything is safe! We're not safe here, Richard. Sure, if nothing goes wrong, if absolutely no problems crop up in a vault under the ground, then yeah, maybe it'll be fine. But we're expendable! If one of us dies, they'll know what to adjust to suit the paying customers later down the line. We are subhuman scum, murderers and deserters, and we're gonna freeze to death beneath the earth just so that we eventually, one day, rich fucks can live free of the snow and the looting and the killing. That's all we are, Richard. That's all we are. That's quite a bleak outlook. I'm being realistic and you know it. Fuck. Have you got a Typhoon Project handbook in there? I've never seen anything of the sort. You know what? I actually do. That's all the re reading material they ga gave me. Can you pass it over to me? Just tie some blankets together like I did. Really, Richard? Am I not capable of reading it out to you? No, no, that's not what I mean. It's just, I know what I'm looking for, and so tell me. Okay, sorry. Didn't mean anything about it. It's fine. Just let me go get it. These two are boned. Got it. Okay, Christ, look at this thing. Talk about blowing your own trumpet. Hey, listen to this. Since this company is established in 1927, UGPT has been the leading market force in meteorologic disaster management solutions, eventually branching out into custom safety shelters and various subterranean physics research. In the 1950s, our technology was embraced by many companies to aid in the creation of durable, with withstanding bomb shelters. What a thing to have on your resume. So what do you want me to look up? Oh heavens, what was it again? Uh, oh, it was this one. Can you look up section 64C? Oh, one moment. Alright, this seems to be about an emergency device. That's it, that's what we need. In case of emergency, please follow standard support ticket procedure. You're joking. However, should this course of action be unviable, each suite will be fitted with an emergency device which, when triggered, will alarm the guard's post. No, misuse of it. Okay, we know that. Yeah, yeah, where is it? Hold on, I'm getting to that. I'm glad you're so relaxed about this. Well, it's alright now, isn't it? Once we solve the emergency what's it, we'll be fine. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, it says the emergency device is located behind the rear panel of your personal vanity unit. Right, I think I get it. Yep. Oh, it also says, in case of a fire, the emergency device will be rendered inaccessible. Well, that's useful. Thankfully, we're not in a fire just yet. Thankfully... Heh, maybe we should both carry the emergency things, you know, just to stress how much an emergency it is. Good plan. So I guess that means behind the mirror? Emergency... Uh, a personal vanity unit. Yeah, that sounds like a mirror. Let's try prying this open. Yeah. Nope. Can't get a good enough grip. Uh, oh! Uh, well, okay. Yeah, I was thinking maybe use the pole, or... Can't get a good grip on the panel, a family photo, something, something. Ah, just gotta click everything until something works. Oh, there we go, like the plate! Because, you know, that was the first thing I would have thought of. Hmm, it's only a safety knife, but it might come in handy. Aha! Now, perhaps if we do this, yes! We have solved the puzzle! It, it might be a safety knife, but it could work. Yeah, It worked! It opened! Hey, Alice! Yeah, there's a button here. Do you want to go and check yours? Sure. Yep, there's a button here, too. Okay, are you ready? Ready as ever. Okay, three, two, one... You there, Richard? Yeah. Well, we pressed it. What now? So... I expected more of a fanfare. Me too, to be honest. Still, it beeped. That means it's worked, right? Guess we need to hang fire until... We need to hang fire until the guards... I've never heard that before in my life. Well, since we're looking for a way to pass time, yeah, yeah, but I might get cut off. I doubt we'll have to wait long. Barney was 
well, he wasn't doing so good. Is it snowy out? It's always snowy out, isn't it? I mean, is it falling from the sky? I'm not sure. Probably. Do you want to go for a walk? To see Daddy again? No, not today, sweetheart. Just for a walk. My head is achy and my nose is funny. You just have a cold, baby. You'll be fine. Maybe you should stay in today. Will you tell me stories? Maybe later, sweetheart. Mom's got to do some things today. Like what? I'm going to try and find a way upstairs. We put it off for far too long. Hmm. Why don't you go back to bed for a bit? Okay, Mommy. Achoo! So... It's not just a cold, is it? Fucking hell, Alice Fink. The old man had medicine. Perhaps if I... No, no, I can't go back there. Not ever. There's gotta be someone... Something to help. Christ. Maybe I really should check upstairs. There's that loose board in the window. I just need to find a way of getting up there. Okay, this is gonna be, uh... How do I... Can I... I can't click on the bricks. Uh, maybe... No, there's no way I'll be able to drag that thing over the window. Far too heavy, even if I dislodge it. I don't want to sit down... Uh, okay, you know... Whatever. Like, that was not the idea I had, but, you know, if that's what you think it's for... God be it for me. Uh, boarded up window. Still can't do it. I can't reach that window up there. Maybe now uh, I can do something with the billboard. No, I guess not. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything with the billboard. I guess I'll head down and see maybe if there's something in the shed. Did, oh, did I ever... It's a box. Okay, so there's nothing... Ow! I'm sorry, folks. I clicked outside the window. My, my dearest apologies there. Alright, and... Man, it takes a right idiot to do that, too, because, I mean, it's, it's not like it didn't give me ample space. So, uh, the vice, the workbench, the cat, the lawnmower, rusty saw, uh, let's see, the toy car, there's a vice, still works, so, I, that must mean I'm supposed to do something, gun with the vice, toy car with the vice, Shotgun shells with the vice. I can break open the shotgun shells with the vice, but I might need them. I guess I'll remember in case I need to do it late. Okay, so I need to figure out something else before I can do that. So I need to figure out why I would need to break open the shotgun shells with the vice. Because once I do do that, that probably gets me gunpowder to do something. Which means, holy crap, what the hell am I going to do with gunpowder? Oh my, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be mighty interesting once I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh, oh, a dead ammo. Definitely nothing else. Okay, so... A dead ammo hasn't been... That's actually surprising. You'd think animals would have come and gotten that, but... Wow, I guess in a way that kind of just speaks about the world more than if, like... More than the dead animal itself. The fact that it's even still there. Um... I'm surprised I can't just go up the stairs, but I guess there's something just kind of blocking the way there. Maybe if I go uh, north of the building, maybe I'll find something there. Let's try that. Because I've already looked over here and it's just kind of woods and forest. Uh, okay, nope. Uh, so that's not going to work. Uh, if I don't find anything, I'm going to have to go looking in the house, but I'm not sure if it'll let me. Barney will be okay, won't he? Yeah, I'll make sure I'm not gone. Okay. The church always looks so lifeless and depressing. Uh, oh, here we go. Can frozen in ice. There's something in the bin, but the water's frozen. It's solid. Oh. I'm not touching that. Piece of paper. Ooh, piece of paper. Caleb. You're on your own, bro. I'm sorry. I can hear them out there. I can hear them out there calling for me. Oh, my God. Let's see. I'm sorry, this is hard to read. Uh, 
Why the fuck did Sarge bring his daughter to a place like this, man? Little brat, I guess you told Daddy, and Daddy got pissed, and I told, and I told the Polars. I gotta go share. I gotta go share. Nobody, nobody gonna find me. I'm getting old, Jake. Burn this. Oh man, hope you got my little gift. All right, let's see if we can get his little gift. Uh, I guess we'll head into the church, see what's in there. Damn. Well, let's go around the back then. We keep hearing about the polar bears. Like, I'm wondering when they'll come onto the scene. Oh my god. Woman and child, they'll eat her alive. That's gonna... That'll be awful. Hmm. There's a box in the middle of the lake. How weird. I don't think I can really get to it right now, though. And I don't think there's anything else around here that I need. Huh? I can't... So, wait, she said, huh, even though, like, there shouldn't be anything that she needs. So I think that means I'm not going to walk in, like, it's far too dangerous. So does that mean that there is something around that she could use? Well, there's the shoe. Maybe now take the shoe. Ah, just take the shoe. It's an adventure game. You need the shoe. If I need the shoe later, uh, uh, maybe take a... Uh, it's a makeshift grave. I thought maybe... Let's see. What did she say huh to? Like... Oh, uh, my first... Oh, well, I guess the flower's gone. No, Alice. You're on your own this time. Okay. Oh, wow, that dead wraith is just kind of... It's just kind of disappeared, hasn't it? But anyway, so... Like, there was a reason she said huh. And I'm trying to think of why she said huh. Oh, hello. Uh, it's like right there. I've got a shotgun. I've got a gun. Can I throw the gun at it? No. Of course that wouldn't work. I'm dumb. Okay, I guess... I guess I can't just walk around like that. Let's see. Where else can I go then? Also, I didn't realize, but she was actually really... I wonder if she made that up or if she really was that close to her husband's grave because I guess that means that she just kind of ran in an opposite direction uh, I guess she just ran to where she knew she could get away from that guy fair enough I guess you, you always want to head to what's familiar to you there's that pole again and I don't think I can go any further south than that oh yeah it's like massive amounts of white on screen that's me I am very lost, folks. Very lost. So, let's see. Well, th this is the fun of adventure games. It's exploring every nook and cranny, getting all the pieces together, and then finally, uh... Oh, here we go. That's right. I forgot this was here, so... Uh, a satchel. I didn't even think to... Okay, here we go. We have a satchel. I think there might be something in it. Let's have a look. It's someone's diary. I suppose it's okay to read it. Lucy and I went foraging for food today. There's there's still some land that isn't caked with snow and ice. Can you believe that? We found some berries. We're, whether, weren't sure whether or not to eat them, but so, uh, but so we were hungry. We're still here, so that can only be a good sign, especially for Lucy. It's been a couple of months now since her parents died. And she's dealing with it scarily well. I'm not sure how she does it, especially with everything else she has to put up with. These days keep all the doors and windows blocked up as well as locked, just to make sure. I think it comforts her. There was a brief re reprise in the snowfall yesterday. It took me completely by surprise. I woke up, looked out the window, and there was nothing falling. As the man's ticked off, I foolishly let myself believe that it was finally over. That we might all be able to rebuild and move on with our lives, but no. An hour or so later, it began again, heavier than I've ever seen in some time. Lucy sat through the whole thing, and I don't have the heart to tell her about, about it when she woke up. This week has been difficult. We're trying not to burn through our supply of tin food, but we're getting hungrier every day. So it's difficult to keep up the willpower. Occasionally, we go out and try to find some extra food, and sometimes we do, but it's so cold that all I want to do is return to the indoors and feel comfortable again. 
despite how picky we can be either. Lucy remains incredibly strong though, it's quite remarkable, she truly is an inspiration. She just gets on with life, as if, as if here the most normal existence ever. I guess they were never really normal for her. I'm not writing much recently. Haven't found the strength. Poor Lucy has been looking after me when I've had my darker moments, and I feel sorry for her. It's not if she doesn't have her own shit to deal with. We're trying to properly ration now. It's been too long since the authorities got the be got the last food shipment to people. Weeks. We've been talking about going to the nearest zone, but that's a fair bit of distance, and we need our strength. Can we get in? Lucy says we could. We can, thanks to her. But I'm not sure. I keep wondering if we have, if it will ever end. That was scary. We had a surprise visit last night from whom we assume was a small group of the polar bears. They didn't say so outright, but since they they threw a rock threw a rock through one of our windows and tried to smash up our barricades with a baseball bat, it's probably a safe assumption. We hid in Lucy's bedroom. They didn't come in, but they shouted at us from outside. They said they'd be back. That we're being selfish. Why? What right do they have to threaten us? I'm angry and scared. I went outside to find more food on my own today. Lucy said she wasn't feeling too well. While I was out, I could have sworn I heard her scream. It might have been someone else, of course, but I just got this feeling that it was her. When I got back, I asked her about it, but she just looked confused and said she had no idea. She fought. So that's a relief. Or at least the medicine supplies are still going strong. I can't believe it. I just can't. Still in shock. Woke up yesterday. Went downstairs. Sat around for a while. Decided I should w wake Lucy up. So, so went to her room and knocked. No answer. But the door was slightly ajar. I went in and she was gone. Left me a note. Said she was heading to the zone without me. I'm holding her back. I don't believe it. We talked about this so much. I even encouraged her to go. Why leave like this? Increasingly sure this wasn't Lucy's doing. She wouldn't have. She has no reason to vanish. It's been set up, I'm sure. It's the Polars, or whoever else it was that came by. They had it all planned, I'm positive. Lucy's valuable to them, which means she's still alive. That's it. I'm going. Going to face them head on. I'll try to talk, to reason with them, but I'll go armed. I've never met Lucy. I'd never met Lucy three months ago, but she's become my everything. They can't get away with taking her now. Damn. Warning, polar bear territory. It's time to ask them for help. I don't think it'd be a good idea. That was depressing. Oh my god. Oh, oh, cr weather does crazy things to people. It really does. Okay, so I got a satchel. So, let me go up, because I haven't looked up here yet. And see maybe if I find something, because I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to be looking for. Nope. Uh, but let me see now. Maybe, uh... Maybe if I use the satchel... Uh, can I throw the diary and maybe knock it? Uh, nope. Okay, so... I have no clue what to do. And so I'm going to have to... Next time on Richard and Alice, we're going to find out why that church is open. Catch you later.